In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you could take a full color image and convert it to a black and white silhouette using Affinity Designer. And to show you what I mean here, I have this example image opened up on my screen and the end result is this black and white silhouette right here. So let's go over how we can do this. I'm gonna open up a new document with my image and depending on the composition of your image, you may be able to use the threshold adjustment to do this. To show you what I mean, I'm gonna select the image layer I'm gonna select this little half circle down here that represents the adjustment layers. And I'm gonna look for where it says threshold. I'm gonna select that. And if you see what happened here, it took everything on your image and stripped it down to just black and white. And you can use this slider right here to change the threshold. Now, as you can see here on my screen, this option over here does not work for every image. In fact, I'd say most images this probably won't work for. If you have an image where the foreground is clearly defined from the background and there's no colors conflicting or getting in the way, then this should work fine. But for I'd say about 80% of images, this option probably is not good. So let me undo this by pressing Control Z. And instead we are going to use the black and white adjustment. So let me select my layer again. I'm going to come over back, back over here to my adjustment layers and I'm going to choose black and white. Now what we could do now is we could change the composition of our image by changing the color channels here. Now if on this example image the background of the sky is blue and the foreground of the leaves is green. So I want to take the green channel and I want to darken it. So I'm going to take this and slide this to the left and if you can see what's happening there the leaves are becoming darker. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow channel because yellow is kind of uh, close to green. I could do the same thing. I could bring this all the way up like that. And there we go, now we have an even darker uh, composition here. And if you want, you can play with these other sliders as well, see if you get a better result here. For example, when I take the red slider, you could see this option, I mean this area right here darkening. And blue, as far as the blue channels go, if I darken those, it's gonna darken the background because the blue sky represents the background. So I don't want a dark background, I want a white background. So I'm gonna bring the blue, or the cyan channel rather, all the way up. And then I'm gonna take the blue channel and bring that all the way up as well. And let me try the magenta and see how that does. Okay, so there's no effect here. I'm gonna leave that as it is. And now I'm gonna close out of this. Okay, so that right there is looking good, but it's not quite perfect. If you zoom in on this over here, you can see there's little areas that got left out of the dark areas over here. And depending on your image, you may also have some fragmenting in the white areas. Uh, this image doesn't really have that, but if you have that, uh, the best thing to do would be to add a levels adjustment. So let me select my image again. I'm gonna select the adjustments option and I'm gonna choose levels this time. Now let me zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna start off with the gamma right here. If I take the gamma and slide this all the way to the right, you can see what happens there. It darkens those lighter areas within the foreground. Uh, if I bring that back out, you can see it lightens it. But if I bring it all the way to the right, it darkens it like that, which is the effect we're going for. And if you wanna darken, if you wanna add some more definition, you could take the black level right here and slide this to the right. And then you get something like that, it's more defined. And then if you have these, if you have fragmenting in the white areas, you could take the white level right here and bring this to the left like that and get even more definition. So I think my image looks good right there, just like that. I'm gonna leave it as it is and then close out of it. And there you go. That is how you could take a full color image and reduce it down to a black and white silhouette using Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.